At the beginning of 2024, the sudden death of a mysterious Chinese-American woman put a powerful family spanning the political and business worlds of the US and China under the spotlight. Behind this tragedy, the exchange of interests, the US-China rivalry, and the CCP's unification tactics are no less than a spy thriller. Welcome to China Insights. Let's investigate the strange drowning of Angela Chow and the stories behind it. At 11.38 p.m. on February 10, 2024, the first day of the Chinese New Year, Angela Chow, 50 years old, chairman and chief executive officer of Foremost Group, a U.S. shipping giant, drove her Tesla and crashed into a pond on her ranch in Blanco County, Texas. Chow was unable to escape from the vehicle. After several rescue attempts, she was pronounced dead at 1.40 a.m. She died due to the difficulty of underwater rescue at night and the prolonged drowning time. In early March, the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times each published extensive reports that after a thorough review of the incident, both pointed to the conclusion that it was an accident. On March 20th, the police released their final investigation report, which also deemed the incident an unfortunate accident and announced that no further investigations would be conducted. This signifies that the official stance in the case has been finalized. However, neither the media nor the police reports can reasonably account for the various doubts left by the case. Moreover, Angela Chow and her family's highly prominent background makes this accident appear all the more suspicious. The Chow family behind Angela Chow is known as the number one Chinese-American family in the U.S. Some members of the family have long held high positions in American politics, while others have made a name for themselves in the business world. As a leading Chinese-American family, the Chow family has also maintained close ties with the top echelons of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. And the rise of the Chow family's huge business has directly benefited from this connection. Such advantage from playing both sides has allowed the Chow family to maneuver smoothly between the political and business circles of the United States and China over the years, and become deeply involved in the two countries' political, financial, and even military fields. Angela Chow herself was one of the family's most prominent figures in this special relationship. Angela's father, James Sichong Chow, is the founder of the family-owned Foremost Group. As early as 1983, he met with top Communist Party leader Deng Xiaoping. He was also a classmate of Jiang Zemin, the former leader of the CCP at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Around 2008, he became a director of the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, CSSC, the Communist Party's mega-military enterprise. Chao's sister, Elaine Chao, served in the U.S. government as Secretary of Labor and Secretary of Transportation. She was also the first American Chinese to serve as a cabinet minister, which made the CCP even more interested in the Chow family. Over the years, she has met with senior CCP officials numerous times, including with former Premier of China, Wen Jiaobao. In 2019, a video of former Vice Chairman of China, Wang Qishan, and Elaine Chow whispering in the back of the room at a ceremony celebrating the succession of the Emperor of Japan sparked public speculation. Wang Qishan used to be one of Xi Jinping's closest deputies, assisting him in taking down many corrupt officials. Elaine Chao is married to Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader of the U.S. Senate. He is the longest-serving leader of the Senate in history and wields significant influence in the U.S. political arena. Angela Chao herself, the youngest daughter of the Chao family, took over the Foremost Group in 2018 and was deeply involved in the partnership with the CCP. She served as chairman of the U.S. Risk and Management Committee of the Bank of China, a director of the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, CSSC, and vice chairman of the China Council for the Promotion of International Trade, CCPIT. As mentioned earlier, CSSC is a military industrial enterprise of the CCP, and CCPIT is the CCP's key executive arm in promoting its dealings with global trade. Angela Chow's husband, Jim Breyer, is a well-known venture capitalist in the United States with a fortune of $2.9 billion. He is one of the owners of the Boston Celtics and previously served on the boards of Facebook, Walmart, Dell, and others. 
In 2014, Briar partnered with IDG Capital, a Beijing-based venture capital firm, to start investing in China. Well, let's look at the seven most suspicious points in this case. When her car fell into the water, instead of calling the police, Angela Chow called one of her friends, Keenan, who was at the scene. There is a 15-minute gap between when Keenan learned that Chow had fallen into the water and when the 9-11 call was made. In the US, common sense dictates that when there's an emergency, one calls 9-11 first. If Keenan was on the phone reassuring Chow, six other women were at the scene, all of whom were Chow's friends from Harvard Business School and had been invited to spend the weekend at the ranch. Together with the ranch manager and his wife, there were a total of eight others, all of whom knew about Chow's situation. But within 15 minutes, none of them thought of calling the police. If it was a case of psychological shock that made people fail to act, isn't it odd that all eight failed to do so collectively? Not to mention that these women are all societal elites, including prominent business leaders. Isn't it strange that they all fell into a state of paranoia simultaneously? According to the Wall Street Journal, Angela Chow told Keenan that she had hit the wrong gear and reversed the car, a mistake she had made before. As a result, it's assumed that Angela fell into the pond because she put the car in the wrong gear. But there's a problem. Even if she put it in reverse by mistake, those who have driven before, especially veteran drivers, know that once a driver realizes that the vehicle is in the wrong gear, going in the opposite direction, one will subconsciously apply the brake. This is a driver's muscle memory, a reflex, and it shouldn't fail to act. Angela Chow wasn't a novice driver. According to the police report, she continued to back up after hitting a wall and then crashed into two 500-pound boulders before falling into a pond. Of course, according to a police blood test, Angela Chow had nearly three times the legal limit of alcohol in her system, making her a drunk driver. But according to the phone call she made to her best friend later, she was sober. She wasn't so drunk to the point that she would keep the gas pedal pressed down even after hitting the wall and the boulder. So here lies something unusual. The Wall Street Journal gave a very detailed account of the whole incident. However, in the key part of the story, how Angela was rescued, there is a major difference between the accounts of the Wall Street Journal and the police. The police and fire department accounts are consistent. Rescuers dove into the water and used special tools to break into the car and drag Angela out. In contrast, the Wall Street Journal said that a tow truck pulled the Tesla out of the water and broke down the door to get Angela out. Also, a few specific details were mentioned in the Wall Street Journal report, such as the cable on the tow truck wasn't long enough at that time, and another cable was found and used before getting the car out of the water. The tow truck driver was worried about electrocution when he heard that it was a Tesla he was towing. Hundreds of gallons of water gushed out of the car when the window was broken, and so on. Those details have impressed people with a very real and hard to fabricate scenario. Nevertheless, there's a big difference between breaking a car underwater and pulling it ashore to save someone's life. It's impossible to confuse the two situations. So why is there such a big difference between the descriptions of the Wall Street Journal and the police? An important family member died inexplicably and the attitude of the Chow family is intriguing. During the investigation, the Chow family prevented an autopsy from being carried out. When the police gave the conclusion that her death was an accident, the Chow family immediately acknowledged it and made no further demands. After the police returned the Tesla to the Chow family, they didn't ask Tesla for the car's data records and said the accident wasn't directly related to the car itself. The unusually low profile in which the Chow family handled the case indicates that they didn't want to draw too much attention from the media and the public to the incident, or perhaps they have to swallow their grievances because they can't make any comments on the case. Apart from these four suspicious key points, three other suspicious details related to the CCP are worth discussing. First, and what's most difficult to explain, is that it wasn't the American media that first broke the news of Angela Chow's death, but the mainland Chinese website, Tsai Xin. On February 13, 2024, Beijing time, Xin.com published a story about the death of Angela Chow, a Chinese-American female ship owner, in a car accident. The article reads, The accident occurred on February 10th as she was traveling to a business conference in Austin, Texas. 
According to a local police report, Angela was pronounced dead at the scene when the vehicle she drove was struck by a truck that was speeding through a red light. The truck driver was later arrested and charged with drunk driving and manslaughter. Caixin, with its affiliation with Wang Qishan, prides itself on the professionalism and truthfulness of its reporting. This obituary on the Caixin website was informative and had many details, but it was outright fake news. We found that this news piece's content wasn't updated until 12 days later to make it consistent with the mainstream media. During these 12 days, many media professionals raised questions about it being fake, but Caixin remained indifferent. Its behavior was very odd for a media outlet. Why? Zhao Lanjian, a media professional originally from mainland China, commented, it's no coincidence that Tsai Xin has risked its credibility to produce a fake news story about Angela Chow being hit by a car. This is a misleading news story done by professionals and a secret service operation with a political mission. Aircraft carriers and nuclear submarines represent all the main combat equipment of the Chinese Navy, and the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, CSSC, is responsible for the research, development, and production of all the related equipment. As a result, CSSC was sanctioned by the U.S. government in 2020. Chow and her father were once the directors of CSSC, and it's likely that Chow possessed some of the company's trade secrets. After Angela Chow's husband became a target under the watchful eye of the U.S. military and intelligence department, is it possible that the Chow family reached a consensus that in order to save the whole family, they had to cut themselves off from the CCP and cooperate with the American Intelligence Department's investigations? As such, the military secrets of the CCP in Angela Chow's possession would have become the biggest threat to her safety. Commenting on the incident, Zhao Lanjian said that the death of Angela Chow reminded him of two similar cases. One was a family of three in an affluent neighborhood of Los Angeles being brutally executed around 2010. The victim was a white glove of the CCP's petroleum system. A white glove is an intermediary who helps the top echelons of the CCP to launder money, handling the dirty deeds to keep the top echelons' hands clean. It took a decade for the case to come to light after Zhou Yong Kong, the former secretary of the Central Political and Legal Affairs Commission, was arrested for losing the internal fight within the CCP, and it was said that Zhou had sent his agents to do the murder. Zhou Yong Kong was China's former security czar and a former member of the CCP's Politburo Standing Committee, the small group of senior leaders who effectively run the country. At the time, Mr. Zhao Lanjian worked as the editor-in-chief of a portal website in mainland China, which allowed him to access a lot of relevant reports backstage, even though he wasn't allowed to publish them. The other case was the suicide of Zhang Shoshang, a leading and important scientist in the Thousand Talents program, a program by the CCP that recruits experts in science and technology from abroad for intellectual property theft and espionage. He was in possession of many scientific research secrets, but committed suicide suddenly in the US. This is not as simple as it seems on the surface. The last suspicion is that Jim Breyer, Angela Chow's husband, started investing in China in 2014 in partnership with Beijing-based IDG Capital. Mr. Zhao Lanjian said that when he interviewed IDG in his early years, he sensed that the head of the company had the same arrogance as the second generation of CCP Reds, a kind of looking down upon that is unique to the CCP Red family. Second generation Reds refer to the sons and daughters of the CCP's top echelons, especially children of the founding members of the CCP. IDG had a very different air from American companies in the American way of dealing with people. On February 9, 2024, the US military put IDG Capital on the sanctions list. IDG is a civilian investment firm, so it's unusual that it was suddenly sanctioned by the military. As we mentioned earlier, the Chow family is deeply involved in the military industrial enterprises of the CCP, so is IDG engaging in similar behavior in the investment field? Perhaps the US government had tipped off Breyer before this, and perhaps Breyer was even questioned by the intelligence services. On January 26, 2024, Breyer publicly announced at the Davos Forum that he would no longer invest in China. Was this a measure he took to cooperate with the investigation or to clear himself of the suspicion of collusion with the CCP? 
In the end, 15 days after his announcement, his wife, Angela Chow, died in mysterious circumstances. It's intriguing. Perhaps there is more truth waiting to emerge. Well, this is the investigation report on Angela Chow's death. Feel free to leave your comments and let us know your thoughts. Let's search and figure out the truth together.